What's going on, people? So uh, before I get too far into this, so I've noticed that lately there have been a few more people watching these things, these pro wrestling crate unboxings than in the past. It used to be just like a couple of the people that were already subscribers that just happened to either be really bored or just like to watch everything I do. I don't know what it was, but those were the only people watching it. Now it seems like more people are actually just kind of discovering this for whatever reason. So I'm wondering, kind of thinking if maybe later I'll do a giveaway for one of these crates. Obviously not this one because I don't have the one, but it's something I'm thinking about. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. Anyways, so also, now that that's over, sometime between the last crate, the Impact one, and today, I did a live with, was it, with HTX, you know, I'm talking about shoes and wrestling, and he somehow was able to get TJ Perkins in there, which was pretty awesome. So sitting back with him, talking about shoes, wrestling, obviously, Impact, cause that's where he's hanging out nowadays. It really makes me want to watch the show, because I did watch the Slammiversary, and that was really good. It just sucks that... I was thinking I had them on one of my YouTube TV channels, but that was Ring of Honor. So I'm going to have to get that that plus account or whatever they call it for Impact and watch them through there, I guess. But anyways, that's enough of that. You didn't come here for that backstory. You came here for this. So we're going to go ahead and get on into it and get these here handy dandy scissors. So we start seeing what's going on in here. Now, I don't know if this crate had a theme or not. The only thing that I saw on the last month card was just a few things about who's going to be in it. And even looking on their Twitter and whatever else earlier, didn't see anything labeled. So I'm not sure what it's called. But, and this just says August 2020 crate. All right, so there you go. So for you guys, that's what's going on on the back there. And next month's crate is going to be Roddy Roddy Piper, Orange Cassidy, Good Brothers, Ultimate Warrior, Chris Hero, The Major Bros, which is Matt Cardona and Brian Myers, and Juice Robinson. So there's that. And now the spoilers for you guys, in case you'd like to look at that kind of thing. So, it's a way for anybody who hit their eyes. So, we can go ahead and sit that over there, and we can go ahead and get on into this thing so we can get this video moving. So... I'll let you guys get a, the first look at this shirt, whatever that is, and then uh, let's see. It is, oh, Bracken, Broken Matt Hardy with the delete thing in there. Let me pull that out again. So, I actually just bought his figure from Target the other day. They happen to have him and Kurt Angle, the elites of course, and I figured, you know what, why not? It's like my good buddy Jeezy, because he bought the same ones when he saw them at his Target. It's like, you know what? They're both not there anymore, so it's kind of cool to have them for that reason, I guess. Because I wasn't thrilled about either figure, but that adds a little bit of a reason to get them. And now, moving on to whatever this shirt happens to be, because again, I'll let you guys see it first. <laughs> Starting to slaughter at ease, maggot, as he says on the bottom. So, I'm really liking this one. This is easily my favorite of the two shirts. I actually got to meet Sergeant Slaughter at some point. It was Access... It might have been... Dallas. What, what, what WrestleMania was that? 32, right? Yeah, 32. Pretty sure it was Dallas. And then, of course, you have to have a micro brawler in there. I've actually got a handful of these things coming in the mail soon because they did a sale recently. I'll give you that backside as well. But yeah, so basically this is the Honky Tonk Man, obviously. I mean, nobody's going to argue that, right? We all recognize the guy. Was it? I believe he had the the longest intercontinental championship reign, possibly still, or maybe just for a long time. And now we've got to give you that shot there. So this is the DVD before the big leagues. So you got MJF, Orange Cassidy, what's her name? The, the alien girl, Chris Statlander and Penelope Ford. I believe that's who that is. So yeah, cause looking at the back, it says, yeah, so you can see that too, right? It says MJF versus Ace Romero, Luchasaurus versus Moose, Jungle Boy versus David Arquette, Orange Cassidy versus Priscilla, Chris Statlander versus Brian Cage, Best Friends versus Revolt, Joey Janela versus Leo Rush, Penelope Ford versus Di Diamante. So, it seems like it's a pretty good lineup, you know what I'm saying? But it'll probably be just like that big stack right there where I just put all these DVDs and plan to watch them, but never have not yet one day though one day 
And so then here's one of these, one of these little pins. I still don't have that cork board as I was suggested in a past video, but eventually I'll remember to get one. So this is Colt Cabana, boom, boom, as it says on the tights. So there's that. All right, moving on. We've got one of these, one of these little cinch bags from the gun club. So this is pretty nice quality from what it feels. Feels like it might be, might be pretty decent, you know? Anyways, down there you've got this, the standard gun club logo, I assume, with a zipper on the side right here. So that's kind of nice. But yeah, if you're wondering what it looks like, it's very thin feeling, you know? So it doesn't seem like it's going to give you any sort of like protection if like it's raining or anything. So I might be a little cautious if I were you what you put in here, depending on when you're out using it. Now that one I got from Sneaker Hearts, so that one, that one's pretty nice. Now, <clears throat> moving on to the last piece of this here puzzle, we have an autographed thing from somebody. If you read the card in the beginning, you know who it is. I do not know who it is. And I'll give you the first glimpse because I didn't get a full one. This would be Walter. Jesus Christ, he is killing somebody in this. Do you see that? Like, look at that thing. Man. That, I was actually just watching a takeover with him in it today. I don't remember which one it was. I want to say it was New York. It was him versus Pete Dunne. Sometime from last year. I'm just kind of catching up on the ones I didn't see. But anyway, so that concludes the crate. We did it, people. We made it through the whole video, and now we're good. Well, you are. I have to go and actually edit this thing and make it available to you all. So you're welcome in advance, I suppose. But anyways, that's going to be it for me because I don't really have anything else to talk about that I can think of. So, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Like I said, I'm going to go do some editing and turn this thing off so you don't have to listen to that beeping outside anymore. Alright, later people. I didn't really notice this at first because it's not something I think about, but this is clearly a G.I. Joe inspired picture, right? Makes me like it a little bit less because I have always had a firm dislike for G.I. Joe.